Hey you guys, thank you for watching. So I already did a video where basically I just put on all my blush and bronzer that I own and I just kept going, going, layering on. It was just a really fun way to share kind of part of my makeup collection but do it in kind of like a fun, silly way at the same time because obviously it looked pretty crazy once I had it all on. So if you want to check that out, I will go ahead and link it below and in the eyes. But I thought I would do another one and do it with my lipsticks because that is my favorite thing to collect. So I'm basically just going to share all my lipsticks and put them on at the same time. And the fun thing about it is that it's not swatches. I'm not going to take it off. I'm just going to keep laying it on. And then we'll just see how it comes out, you know. And I will zoom in at the end to see how it looks. The blush and bronzer turned out pretty crazy. So I'm curious to see how this turns out. I'm not going to do liquid lipsticks or lip gloss or anything. I'm just going to do lipstick. Just so let's get started. Whoa. This is my little lipstick container. But I do have two lipstick displays, so this is not all of them. And then again, in here, are kind of some liquid lipsticks and lip gloss and stuff. So yeah, just everything that's just like literally like a lipstick, I'm just gonna do for this video. Okay, so we narrowed it down to just the lipsticks. Okay, so first I have two Tarte little, they're both miniatures. They're Lip Surgeon's Lip Creams. And I got them both in some kind of like sample deal. I think in different ones, but yeah, I just had like a... This color is really pretty. I don't go for these that much. I should though, because I like them. Yeah, these are really pretty and really, really creamy, but I don't know. I don't wear them that much. So that one was in Wonder, and this one is in Wishful. And I know I got this during a Christmas time. I'm pretty sure it was kind of like a advent calendar of little Tarte mini samples. And I think it was like after Christmas 20... Ooh, I think it was 2014, so these are kind of old. But... Yeah. I feel like this is going to end up getting very messy, but... We shall see. Okay, next up I have two NARS ones. And I got both of these as one of the Sephora gifts, monthly gifts, I think probably in 2015. So the pinky shade is Rakugian. <laughs> it's a really weird name. I very rarely wear these. Pretty much this whole drawer I don't wear as much as kind of why they're like in the drawer put away. Not displayed out for me to easily grab. And yeah, it's a velvet matte lip. Okay, and next are two lipsticks from NYJ London. And I really love this brand because it is created by my friend James, who I met in London. And it's his line. And it's really, really cool because he has lipsticks and lip glosses. And the lipsticks are named after streets in London. So I have Harley Street and Bond Street. And all the lip glosses are named after London Bridges. So I think that's just so cool and creative. I love, I mean, you can't really tell right now, but it's just like a nice everyday peachy. It's like perfect for my skin tone. James is doing very, very well. He is now selling in a department store in Malaysia, which is his home country. And I met him in like the beginning of 2016. And just to see how much, like, as soon as I met him, we started talking about, like, beauty stuff. I knew he was so passionate about his brand. And just to see him, like, growing and doing so well, it's just amazing. And then this one's Bond Street, and it's, like, dark, vampy purple. It's very daring. Okay, now I have three elf lippies. Well, one says moisturizing lipstick, and two just say elf. So I think they're just, like, the regular lipstick line. I'm not really sure. But this moisturizing one is flirty and fabulous. There's like there's already so much lipstick on, like it's getting on lipstick I'm using next. Gross. This one is deep burgundy. This one is blackberry. Hmm, this one's really creamy. My lips are getting really messy already. Next up, I have two Bite Beauty lipsticks, and I got these through an influencer box box. I was fortunate enough to try them out, and I really like them, and I have a video on it, so I will link it down below and in the eyes, like always. Ew, I have some more teeth. Okay. 
So this one, not that you can tell. Okay, I feel like I need to get like a little baby wipe or something because all my lipsticks are getting ruined. Well, not ruined, but like stained for my lips. Okay, so that one was honeycomb. It's like a nice, just standard nude. And this one's whiskey. It's like a really dark burgundy color. inner corners of my lips okay next I have two more elf ones and gosh sometimes elf just like does not label their stuff at all <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure what these these this line is called but it's the ones that look like these and the reddish one is wine and the lighter one is tea rose two of the Maybelline matte lipsticks in Lust for Blush and Touch of Spice. Ugh, it's getting really hard to like not be messy. Okay, so finally for my little basket, I just have two Revlon Matte Balms and the shades are Elusive and Sultry. So, so far we kind of have a, just the dark purples, it's kind of like taken over the colors no other colors are like really affecting it's been saying about the same shade I'm not mad at the shade it's pretty it's just getting real hard to like not make a mess but let's move on to my lipsticks on my little displays these are the lipsticks oh, that are on one of my displays and they are all just actual lipsticks okay so the first row these So Susan Cosmetics Lip Opouts, and I love them because the packaging is so cute, as you can see. So of course I have them on the front of this lipstick display, and I have a video on them once again. So if you want to see, you should know where to look by now. <laughs> I'm not going to go over these too much just because I do have the video, so I'm just going to kind of roll through these. They smell really good by the way, they smell just like Fruity Pebbles, just like them. I have my limited edition MAC lipsticks. These two are from the Jean-Baptiste Lallee collection and these are from the Steam Heat collection and both are from summer 2015. Well, this one is in tats and this one is in, oh, I'm sorry, this one's tats this one's Margarita. This one feel like so nasty to be honest. Okay, and then for these two, one shade, the red one you'll see is actually called Steam Heat itself, and the orange one is Mirage, which is part of the regular Mac lipstick line, but obviously just not in this packaging. <laughs> Starting to look a little bit like a clown. For regular MAC lipsticks, this first one is Velvet Teddy, which I love, love, love. It's like probably my top two favorite nude colors because it's not too light. I don't like too light of a nude. It's just like a perfect color. And I have Brave, but I don't know what happened to this, honestly. If you look, it's like looks like it got melted in half, but I don't know. Like one day I just came home and it was like this. And I actually did an Instagram video using this lipstick. But up there, I barely ever use it. I mean I like the color, but it's just really hard to use, so I keep it there because this lipstick display is in rows of four. So I need it with other MAC lipsticks. And once I get six empty MAC items, I'm just gonna like including this one, I'm just gonna bring it and get a free lipstick because they have that policy. Okay, and next we have Diva, which I love this color. Cream Cup, which as you can see, it's like a really light pinky nude, which compared to Velvet Teddy, if you see what I mean, like this is just a little too light, a little too pinky for me. I prefer more like a little bit brown undertones. Finally, on this display, even though the other display is probably maybe double, like 
<laughs> the amount we just went through. But these are my Kat Von D ones. So this is the only full size I have. And then I got these little ones in a little sample thing I bought last summer. And they came with matching nail polishes, which was cool. Mini as well. But the full size one I have is Underage Red. It's an awesome, beautiful red color. And it's matte. I can't really wear red lipsticks that are not matte just because they like get all over, you know? When you eat, when you drink. Okay, and the mini ones I have are Homegirl, which is this like really dark blackberry shade. I don't wear this very much. It's a little dark for me. But I feel like when I get my hair platinum which I've been meaning to do for like the longest time. I think I'll like it better then. Okay, and then this one is Boho 5. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's kind of like a medium purple, kind of just like a vampy. But I know I'm going like way outside my lip line. The last one is Lovecraft, and I do really like the shade as well. As you can see, it's like a nude. But it's not a very light nude, it's kind of like a purpley, mauve nude. I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And love, we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun makeup wipe even though mine are a little dried out I'm definitely far out the lines of my lips because of where it's staining it honestly wasn't as bad as I thought I mean I definitely had to remove some of my makeup around my mouth to give it all up and my lips are still kind of stained but I kind of like the staining like a nice pretty natural blush of color but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm not even gonna lie it's kind of a dumb video but I hope you guys liked it sometimes videos like this are entertaining at least to me hopefully to you so I hope you guys liked it and thank you for watching see you in my next one bye